All righty, I have a really packed construction update for you guys today, and I have a lot of tea to share with you. Um, so just so you know, just so you know, um, there is going to be um, some sort of development that is going to happen in this video after I show you guys this tunnel. Um, but here you can see what you see before you right there is scaffolding, a ton of it. Um, they have been loading scaffolding into the mountain all morning. Um, so they were sending in scaffolding to the inside of the mountain. What they're doing with it, we can't see no matter how good I get this drone. No matter how good I get this drone, it will not be able to show you guys what's going on inside the mountain. Um, but outside of that, um, they have started to disconnect the power from almost every single building in Elpen. Okay, so in this Elpen themed area, I know I get a lot of slack for calling it that, but that is what its history is, and that is what most likely Canada's Wonderland is going to be turning or refurbishing about it. Um, I can confirm a few things. Um, so the VIP area is not going to be the backlot restaurant, and I'm going to let Re uh, Wonderland announce that in their video. Um, that should be coming out any day now. Um, but if you look closely, uh, the old drink refresh station is now getting demolished. Thunder Run's old station is now almost fully demolished. Um, and if you look closely, uh, don't worry, the uh, the grab and go is okay. And uh, the little mini arcade is okay as of right now. But I can tell you that its power has been disconnected. So whatever happens to it, who knows? Every day we go, there's more buildings getting demolished. Um, and the way I've been able to predict some of these buildings getting demolished is these little red and yellow dots. Um, that are outside it. So that's marking where digging is going to occur and there's an electrical and water or um, some sort of line uh, for computing. So over here, Thunder Run's exit is now officially being taken apart. This is a significant turn of events. So I told you guys we are waiting for a third tunnel. We are waiting for a third tunnel and you may just very well be looking at where it is going to be located. I think you are starting to see a turn of events. So I can confirm now, I want to confirm something with you guys, that International Showplace is not going anywhere. So the park, I've been able to get a confirmation that International Showplace is here to stay for at least the 2024 season. Um, so I have a feeling that the direction that this coaster might actually be heading could be an Elpin, unless Elpin is just going to be getting that overall refresh and Thunder Run is going to be a major component of that. But this coaster project, from what I'm hearing in the rumor mill, okay, I am starting to hear rumblings that this is going to be a really big project, okay? That's all I'm going to say right now, but I am hearing that this is going to be a significant project. And if that isn't good enough for you, if you are like, uh, I'll believe it when I see it. Since when has Wonderland done this much work a month and like two weeks before their, well, when is it? Okay, so March, we're almost a month. We're like a month and two weeks away from their first operational day, April 20th. Okay. Do you really think that they're going to have all this ready and done? I, I bet you that Thunder Run is probably going to be ready. I can't see them not having that ride ready to go. But I do recall um, predicting that Thunder Run was going to be receiving a major overhaul when it comes to its station and having a new exit. Um, and to be honest, it's fitting in that storyline of Wonderland needing another tunnel. So it'll be really interesting to see if this exit is redirected somewhere else and for those of you that remember there were some sort of survey slash demolition markings in thunder runs exit at the very end of winterfest so definitely really interesting what is playing out very curious um i can also confirm that tiny toms is probably here to stay it is probably going to get relocated um but yeah nonetheless um scaffolding is being moved into the mountain um, this little ramp area cannot even be used as a ramp, by the way. So I filmed them for a good 45 minutes. They could not get that yellow forklift in there. It did not fit. They could not, no matter how they could. So what it does now is it reaches as far in as possible and drops the, 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 those little parcels there. So if that little track carrier cannot fit in there, 
they're <laughs> they're gonna have problems if that was supposed to be the track carrying tunnels. So this is really interesting. I don't I don't know if that's just because it's just not done, but they seem done building that part for now. And as they set up scaffolding inside the mountain for whatever purpose, I do want to bring attention to Hartwell. So Hartwell has received quite the shipments, um, and their workforce has nearly tripled. So um, just seeing them today, there's a lot more cars and about two more shipping containers. So really interesting. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think's going on? Do you think the coaster is going to head out towards Extreme Skyflyer? Or do you think it's going to head out in Elpen and stay in there and then head back into the tunnel? Or do you think it's going to take up both? Again, we could be looking at Canada's Wonderland's biggest investment yet. Comment down below. I want to hear from you guys, and I'll be responding to as many people as I possibly can. I'm really sorry. It's been a very busy week. For those of you that know I've been paying attention to our Instagram stories, we're going through a lot as a team. But um, with that being said, very excited to what 2025 holds. See you in tomorrow's update. Bye.